nestling between the deep blue Arabian Sea and the rising heights of the Western Ghats is the district of South Canara with Mangalore city as its headquarters. The district has given to the country five major banks. Well connected by sea and air, its network of roadways makes the region industrially vibrant. But Mangalore stands out as a major educational and health care center. Hindus, Christians and Muslims live here with exemplary communal harmony. Yet, a hundred years back, there was nothing remarkable here except the peace-loving people. Because they lacked education and basic health care facilities, ignorance and disease were rampant. Who could be blamed if people died of malaria or plague? Where could leprosy patients receive treatment with dignity? Around this time, with Jesuits from Venice sent to start colleges, came a visionary homeopath, also a Jesuit. He was Reverend Father Augustus Muller. Teaching in the newly started school, he dispensed homeopathic pills to the students for a variety of ailments. Soon enough, he found their parents standing in the queue. So effective were his medicines and so big was the crowd of patients that he moved his dispensary to an eight-acre plot in Kankanadi. Thus was born the Father Muller Charitable Institutions. It was in 1880. Today, one looks back with pride and wonder on the transformation that has taken place at Kankanadi from a single dispensary to a super speciality hospital from 20 beds to 1050 beds from 10 health workers to over 1500 doctors, nurses, technical staff and over 2000 students Father Muller is a byword today for service and dedication in simple words it inspires trust. Yes, there is something special and significant that is responsible for this fantastic growth. Every successor to Father Augustus Muller has lived true to his vision and tried hard to realize it, whatever be the context of changes taking place. That vision takes the institutions forward, firmly establishing it as an institution par excellence. Who was this man, Father Mullah? Born a German, he took very ill in the seminary he had joined and was given homeopathy treatment. So effective was it that he decided to study the system thoroughly well. So earnest was he that the owners of Soleri Bellotti homeopathic specifics gave him the secret formula of the medicines. Armed with this, he came to India knowing fully well that he had been chosen by God as an instrument to use homeopathy to treat illness. In Mangalore, he did that with relish. While he gave medicines to the poor and the rich, the poor were more close to his heart. His heart went out to them, seeing them in their misery. When there was no place for a plague victim in his 10-bed dispensary, he accommodated the patient in his own room. He personally washed the wounds of the leprosy patients and gave them their personal dignity. He inspired courage in them and rehabilitated them in society, a work for which he was awarded the Kaiser -e Hind Medal by the British India government. His example was contagious. He inspired more. He inspired a group of laymen and women who came to assist him to run the dispensary and convert it to a hospital. When he realized that homeopathy could not treat leprosy effectively, he sent Mr. Lawrence Fernandez to Bombay for allopathic medical education. On his return, the hospital expanded but always kept the poor in mind. Heal and comfort, the catchwords, had become operational. Consoling, counseling, comforting and encouraging was what he taught to his devoted band of helpers. Thus, his leprosy hospital became one of the earliest centers in the country to treat leprosy patients. Every year, something new was added. 1895, a general hospital set up. 1901, male and female wards 
with 12 beds each. 1902 Plague Hospital. 1907 Treatment to Cholera Epidemic in Mangalore. When Father Augustus Muller died in 1910, he was still young. He died leaving a young hospital in the hands of a young team. What was young in all of them was the spirit of selfless service. Every one of them put the patient before their self. Creating additional facilities for them was a mandate. Treating them with love and compassion was also a mandate. What we see today at the 40-acre campus at Kankanadi is the mandate realized, leaving scope for future realization too. Thus, we have today a school of nursing begun in 1959, a homeopathic medical college in 1985, a college of nursing in 1987, postgraduate courses in 1991, paramedical courses in 1994 and a medical college begun in 1999. All in the sphere of medical education. We offer today MBBS, MD, MS, BHMS, MD Homeo, Diploma in General Nursing, PCBSC Nursing, BSc Nursing, MSc Nursing, PhD Nursing, Master in Hospital Administration, BSc in Anesthesia Technology, Medical Laboratory Technology, Operation Theatre Technology, Imaging Technology, Radiotherapy, MSc Medical Laboratory Technology, Bachelor in Physiotherapy and Master in Physiotherapy, BASLP Speech and Hearing. There are over 2,000 students in the campus. The institution started the first ever psychiatric care unit in the private sector in Karnataka in 1966 for persons with mental disorders. Leprosy Rehabilitation Center in 1956 to give a dignified profession to leprosy cured patients. 1971 is a milestone in the history of Father Muller's. A modern outpatient department was constructed. By 1980, the time of the centenary, the hospital had 750 beds with all branches of medicine. Our network of outreach programs is indeed a boon to society and our students. Today, the institution has several degree, diploma and certificate courses and has become qualified to be a university in its own right. Today, we have the most modern linear accelerator, only one of its kind in this region, for specific burning of cancer cells at their locations. We have all precision equipments and instruments for both invasive and non-invasive surgical procedures and diagnosis, including high reduction X-ray, ultrasonic color doppler, CT scan and MRI machines. The operation theatres are equipped with contemporary equipment. High-tech intensive care units, neo and postnatal units, burns unit, cath lab and cardiothoracic units are fully equipped. Our NICU is the largest in the city. The blood bank and cell separator and casualty are 24-hour services. In all, we have 32 super specialty services including chest and allergy, de-addiction and counseling, dialysis and mammography. No wonder the students have a great attraction to study here. There are hostels for over 1,500 students. The facilities and the opportunities provided for co-curricular and spiritual activities are a great help in the holistic formation of the students. The College of Homeopathy is a gift of the centenary whose celebrations were presided over by Mother Teresa. Today, Homeopathic Medical College has its own campus with a hospital and a manufactory at Derlakatte together with hostels for boys and girls. 
there are 12 departments at the UG level, 7 at the PG level and about 400 students studying here. Basic research is carried out in mental retardation, hyperactivity, etc. The most modern homeo manufactory supplies high quality medicines to UK, USA, Middle East, Asiatic countries as well as places all over India. Actually, there are no roads upon the earth. It is when one man walks that a path is made and when other men follow that a road takes shape. Father Muller walked that path. His call was to alleviate suffering with compassionate care. In today's modern world, with high-cost healthcare facilities, Father Muller's continues to remain the poor man's hope. Here, not so poor too find the compassionate care inviting. How does the institution match its charitable nature and attention to the poor with the escalating cost of medical education and services using state-of-the-art technology? Well-articulated financial management policies? Yes, but the enthusiastic support of well-wishers in India and abroad sustains this great experiment of heal and comfort year after year, director after director because the legacy of Father Muller lives on. Thank you.